Good morning, guys. How are you today? Fine. Uh, we have finished the chapter one, the three lessons. Now we will start a new lesson. The first lesson in chapter in chapter three: common multiples of two whole numbers. You know the multiples from grade four, so it's revision from grade four. I will show you now PowerPoint about common multiples of two whole numbers. How do we find the common multiples of two whole numbers? What do I mean by multiples? Did you remember? For example, when I say, let's find the multiples of two, what, what do I mean by multiples of two? I mean the numbers are in table what? Table two. Multiples of two are zero, two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16, etc. Never ends in multiples. You can continue, continue, continue by adding two. So multiples never ends. I can't stop till 20. No, we can continue by adding two, 22, 24, 26, 28, and so on. Okay, so multiples never ends. Now, we will do the first page on the math book, page 48. Please uh, copy activity one, page 48 on your math books. Okay. Activity one. Let's write the 10 first multiples of three, of which number three? When I say multiples, I mean, I will start with zero, then I will continue by adding how much? Three. So, zero, then three, then six, nine, twelve, fifteen, eighteen, 21, uh, they said the first 10 multiples, 21. We'll continue by adding three, multiples of three. I'll start with zero, then I will continue by adding three. So 21, 24, 27. Let's count. Zero, one, I will start counting from zero. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So we still have 10, 30. Okay, so write the 10 first multiples of 3. I will write just the first 10 multiples. So let's count. 0 is a multiple, so I will start counting from 1. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So I will stop at 27. I will cross out 30. At the end, I will write 3 points. Why? Because we have more multiples, and multiples never ends. We can write more and more. Now let's write multiples of four. Yeah, start with zero, then continue by adding how much? Four. So table four, zero, four, eight, uh, 12, 16, then 20, 24, 28, 32, then 36. Let's count if they are 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So 10. Now I will write three points because we have more and more. Find the first three common multiples of 3 and 4. So now I will find the common multiples. When I say common, I mean the numbers that are in both, in table three and in table four at the same time. Zero is written up and it's written where down. So it's a common multiple. We can say that zero is a common multiple. Let's check 12 up and 12 down. So 12 is a common multiple. Mm, also, we have 24 here and 24 here. So 24 is a common multiple. They said, right, just the first three. One, two, three. So what are the three common multiples? Zero, 12, and what? And 24. Zero, 12, 24. So 
0, 12, 24 are common multiples of 3 and 4. They are in both tables, table 3 and in table 1, 4. So we can say that these three numbers are common multiples of 3 and 4. Now, let's read to memorize page 49. A number is a common multiple of two whole numbers if it's divisible by these two whole numbers. For example, here we said 0, 12, and 24 are common multiples because they are divisible by 3 and divisible by 4. Divisible, what do I mean by divisible? I mean they are in table 3 and they are in table 4. They are in both tables. 0 is a multiple of all numbers. 0 is in table 2, it's in table 3, in table 4. Always, when I say multiples, we have to start with 0. So 0 is a multiple of all numbers. 1 is a divisor of all numbers. What do I mean by divisor? I mean 1 times 2 equals 2. So what can we say about 1 and 2? We call them divisors, whereas 2, we call it a multiple. So 1 is a divisor of 2. One is a divisor of 2. 1 times 3 equals 3. So 1 is a divisor of 3. I do the two numbers here, we call them divisor. 1 is a divisor of 3, 1 is a divisor of 4, 1 is a divisor of 5. Because any number we multiply it by 1 stays the same. So 1 is a divisor of all numbers. Let's do now exercise 1, page 49. Please copy this question on your math book. Tell whether the following statements are true or false. 48 is a common multiple of 6 and 8. I mean, is 48 in table 6 and in table 8? Yes, it's in both tables. Why? So it's a true. Because 6 times 8 equals 48. So write this justification between two brackets on your math book. Why it's a true? Because 6 times 8 equals 48. So 48 is in table 6 and in table 8, so it's in both tables, so we can say it's a common multiple. If one of the two numbers is 0, then their product is 0. What do I mean by product? I mean multiplied, answer la multiplication, okay? An answer of multiplication, we call it product. If one of the two numbers is 0, for example, if, if here it's 0, one of them is 0, so here it's other than 0. 0 times 3, the answer will be how much? 0. Any number, we multiply it by 0, the answer will be 0. So the answer la multiplication, the whole product, is 0. So is it true? Yes. The third one. The product of 571 times 89. I said it before. What do I mean by product? The answer. The answer of 571 times 89. Okay, the answer here, whatever the answer is, the answer we call it what? Product. Type. The answer of multiplication is a common multiple of 571 and 889. Yes, why? The answer, Shuma can the answer here? Whatever the answer is, the answer who is in table, in, it's in which table? It's in table 89. And in which table? It's in table 571. So it's in both tables. So we can say the answer here, the product, or we common multiple, 89 and 571. Okay. One is not a divisor of 13. No, no. What did we say before? We said that one is a divisor of all numbers. So it's a divisor of 13. So false. 273,645 is a multiple of 9, I mean, is it in table 9? Type. Which word similar to a multiple? Hey, the number who is very clear, until we know it's table 9. Okay, we can continue. In table 9, we have till 90. We will continue till we reach this number. It will take so, 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 so much time. So what shall I do in order to know if it's a multiple? Multiple, the same as divisible by. Okay? We took before in the previous lesson, which numbers are divisible by 9? The numbers are divisible by 9 if the sum of its digits equals 9. Let's check the sum here. If the sum equals 9, so it's divisible by 9, so it's a multiple of 9. Divisible, the same as multiple. Let's check. 2 plus 7, 9. Plus 3, 12. Plus 6, 18. Plus 4, 22. Plus 5. 27. So the sum equals 27.
7. Again, 2 plus 7 equals 9. So the sum equals 9. So is it uh, divisible by 9? Yes, so it's a multiple of 9. Okay? Now, the sum of two multiples of 9 is not a multiple of 9. I will give you an example. Give me two multiples of, of 5, sorry, and let's find their sum. What do I mean by sum? I mean addition. Type. Two multiples of 5. Which numbers are multiples of 5 if they are in table 5? Choose any two numbers in table 5. For example, 5 or 15. Okay? I do it two numbers and they are in table 5. Type. Let's find their sum plus. 5 plus 15. How much? 20. Type. Their sum, who will it 20? Hi, the whole. So it's false. It's a multiple of five. Okay. 36, 54, and 63 are three consecutive multiples of nine. Type. These three numbers, all of them are in table nine. Let's check if they are three consecutive multiples of nine. What do I mean by consecutive? Consecutive, I mean these three numbers here comes just after to each other in table nine. Let's check if they come just after to each other in table what? In table 9. Fact, table 9. 9, 18, 27, 36, 45, 54, 63, 72, 81, and 90. Okay, I will circle these three numbers. They said 36, I will circle it. 54 here and 63. Okay, look at these three numbers. Comes just after to each other in table 9 because they said multiples of 9. They come just after to each other. No, we have between them 45. So they are consecutive. No, they aren't consecutive. So false. Which numbers are consecutive? For example, 9. 9, 18, 27. Why? Because they follow each other. For example, 72, 81, 90 follow each other. So they are consecutive. But when I say 9, 54, 81, no, so far. So they aren't consecutive. Okay? So consecutive means follow each other in table 9. Later, we will continue doing exercise 2, page 49.